Hi, today's topic is nucleoproteins. A group of conjugated proteins characterized by presence of non-protein phosphatic to nucleic acid and attached to one or more molecules of a simple protein, a basic protein histone or protamin is called nucleoprotein. Nucleoproteins are so named because they constitute a large part of nuclear material. Nucleoproteins are found in all animal and plant tissues. When the purified nuclear protein is hydrolyzed with the acid or by the use of enzymes, various components are obtained. Thus, nuclear proteins first uh, on hydrolysis it will uh, give nuclear proteins are proteins. Then, in the presence of nucleus, it will give nucleotides. Then, mononucleotidases, it will give nucleosides and phosphoric acid. And in the end, nucleosides and phosphoric acid in the presence of purine or pyrimidine nucleosidases, it will give purine or pyrimidine and D ribose or D2 deoxy ribose. Mainly, two types of sugars, D ribose and D2 deoxy ribose, are the are found in nucleic acids. Both sugars are present in nucleic acid as the beta furanoside ring structures. This is beta D ribofuranose and beta D 2 deoxy ribofuranose. This is then we will move to pyrimidine bases. Pyrimidine bases found in nucleic acids are mainly of three types cytosine, trimine, and uracil. This cytosine is found both in DNA and RNA. Chemically, it is T2 deoxy 4 amino pyrimidine. Then timing found in DNA only. It is chemically 2,4 deoxy 5 methyl pyrimidine. Uracil found in RNA only. It is chemically 2,4 dioxy pyrimidine. This is the uh, structure of normal pyrimidine. Then in the case of purine bases, purine ring is more complex than pyrimidine ring. It can be considered the product of fusion of a pyrimidine ring with an imidazole ring. When this pyrimidine ring combines with the, a, an imidazole ring, purine will be formed. This is the structure of purine ring. Adenine and guanine are the two principal purines found in both DNA and RNA. Adenine is chemically 6 amino purine, guanine chemically 2 amino 6 oxy purine. In addition to this, small amount of methylated purines have been present in nucleic acids. Two other purine bases, hypoxanthine and xanthine, occurs as intermediates in the adenine and guanine metabolism. Uric acid is the catabolic end product of purines in human beings. This is about nuclear proteins. So, this is today's topic. Thank you for watching.